Hey, you guys. It is what's for dinner. I said I wasn't going to do one this week, but this is the curry. My phone decided to act all weird and deleted the first part, but all I did, the first part, was chop up some onion. Now I have them in the pan. So at least I caught it. I don't know what's going on with my phone. I guess maybe I might need a new one, but I just got this one, so I have no clue at all. So for this, I will put the description down in, I meant the link down in the description box, but we're having a chicken curry. This is tomato paste that I have in the freezer. It calls for one, what was it? One teaspoon. So I just took out what looked to be about one teaspoon. It is six o'clock in the morning. I'm getting dinner started early because my oven is on the fritz and I won't be able to cook while the guy is here. He's supposed to be here between eight and 12. So I'm putting it in the slow cooker today. So this is going in the slow cooker. My chicken is thawing out. These are peeled carrots and I'm gonna slice them. And then I have a green pepper that I'm gonna slice also. And that will go into the slow cooker. I am chopping up the green peppers. I like mine smaller, so I try to cut them smaller. And once I have all those cut up small, then I will take the carrots, which you can leave them bigger if you would like. It's up to you. But just like the green peppers, I like them cut smaller. And then once I have all of this topped up, then I will put it into the slow cooker. Alright, so this is the chicken. It is not completely thawed out because I forgot to take it out last night. But according to the recipe, it says that you want to dice it up and then salt and pepper and then put it in the pan. Well, it says put in a large pot, heat oil over medium heat until hot, and then add the chicken and saute for about three to five minutes. But because I'm putting this in the slow cooker, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna chop it up and then put it into this one well, salt pepper and then put it into the slow cooker. So that will cut out a little bit of the in between work of sauteing it. It might be better sauteed, but I'm just trying to hurry up because I have to get Shane ready for school. So I'm trying to rush and hurry. <laughs> All right, this is the chicken that is diced up, and this is going into the slow cooker. I haven't seasoned it. I just season everything once I get everything into the slow cooker. All right, so this is the garlic I just put in with the onion because I forgot it earlier. So that is now cooking down, as you can see. My garlic's in here. It won't take it long. And then once that cooks, then I need to add the thyme, the paprika, and the curry powder. All right, and this is what it looks like with the onion, the garlic, no, there it goes. Oh my goodness, the paprika, coconut milk, thyme. What am I forgetting? I don't remember. But that's what it looks like. And that's just going to get dumped into the slow cooker also. Alright, and it calls for one pound of potatoes. These four potatoes are 1.140 pound. So I still have one potato left in the bag. So I will probably put that in too. I don't know, I might add a couple of extra because I like it with the potatoes. But it is going to be put over rice. 
So you can add more if you would like. But with all the potatoes, it comes out to 1.409 pounds. So it's about a pound and a half of potatoes. So I'm going to peel and dice these and then put them into the slow cooker also. All right, and these are the potatoes that are diced up and they're going into the slow cooker. Apparently, I didn't think of anything last night because I went, I went to bed really early. I was so tired. So the chicken was not thawed out. I put it in the sink to thaw out. And then I remembered that I needed chicken broth. This is my turkey broth that I had in the freezer that I forgot to take out. <laughs> so it is frozen. I try not to use zippy bags. I reuse my jars. I just, I try to only run my dishwasher once a week. And whenever I do, I wash any extra jars really well in the dishwasher. And that way it gets, like this one was salsa. That way it gets the salsa smell out. Because usually if you hand wash it, I can't ever get the smell all the way out. But with the dishwasher, I throw a little bit of vinegar in there also. When, whenever I start to run it, and it gets all the smells out of the glass. So it doesn't transfer to whatever else you're putting in into your glass. So I'm going to wait for this to thaw out. And then I will put it in there. I might grab a little bit of water and a chicken... And a chicken cube and put in there because it's really really thick and I'll show you because I hate to cut it on and it starts to burn or something because there's not much liquid so that is what I'm going to do right now all right so I was going through everything that was on the recipe and I forgot the parsley. It calls for two to three tablespoons of chopped parsley because to me whenever it says some chopped parsley to me that means fresh and dried is always stronger than fresh. So it says two to three so I will probably just add two and then later on whenever the chicken is cooked I'll taste it and see if I need to add more or not and then at that time I can if I need to. So this is ready to have the lid put on and for it to cook for a while. I I watched the Fundamental Home and they're awesome. If you don't subscribe to them or if you haven't heard of them, you need to go check them out because she does some amazing grocery hauls. She has a discount store. I don't have one around here, so I can't do the discount grocery, but she feeds everybody on, I think it's like 50 a week. And whenever she first started out, it was $100 a month. So, but she is really awesome. And I watch her every time she has a video come out. And they also have a channel called Fundamental Faith. If you're in into Christian stuff, you can subscribe to that one also. I love that channel too. Um, this is it. Once everything is cooked, I will make sure to get a picture of it whenever it is in a bowl. So, all right, you guys, until this evening, I hope y'all have a great Friday. Oh, it's getting close to Christmas. I'm excited. I can't wait. All right, you guys, see you this evening. All right, and this is for the curry. This is rice that I cooked in the Instapot. this one-handed. I will take the bay leaves out before everybody starts eating. And there it is. It's really good. I just need some salt. Other than that, it is yummy, yummy. All right, you guys. 
Y'all have a good weekend. Bye.